Well, we're really thrilled that we have just finished about $1.3 million in renovations in the George Latimer Central Library. So the, one of the biggest uh, improvements we made was right here in uh, the entry to the library. This is the Peter J. King Welcome Center. We used to have just uh, a cattle chute with uh, service desks on either side. Now we've opened it up. There are windows facing out on Rice Park. We have new self-service checkout. You don't have to stand in line to wait for someone to help you. You just can go up and scan the barcode on your card and then the barcode on the book or the material. And uh, you're ready to print out your receipt and you're ready to go. We have new self-service check-in. So the same principle, when you're returning a book, you scan the barcode and you put it on a conveyor belt and it goes in and it's automatically sorted and that saves the library staff a lot of time so we can focus more on serving our customers rather than um, checking in books. We have uh, still, our, of course, our customer service staff who are here to help uh, library guests who don't know what they, what they need. Um, but otherwise, people are able to come and go as they want. They can pick up their holds. And then right behind me is what's called the Lucky Day Collection. And these are highly popular uh, books or DVDs that are in demand. And so when people walk in, they may find exactly the book they were looking for that they can just check out and read right away. Um, and they don't have to be on a waiting list for, uh, you know, 42 other patrons ahead of them. Uh, so the Lucky Day Collection is really popular and it's a great thing to have right, right in the entry when you come in. On the second floor, we have created a new grand reading room that is the Todd and Nancy Nicholson Commons. Uh, we've opened up the room. We have comfortable chairs and uh, places for people to just sit and relax and read a book. All of our fiction collection is, on, is in this one room, um, which people really love because it's just right upstairs. It's one of the first rooms you come to, so they can get to the materials that they want the most. And it's also just a very beautiful um, place to relax or uh, read a book or work on your computer. Also on the second floor, we have moved all of our media, our uh, CDs and DVDs are just across the way in the new media room. And again, it's on the second floor. It's very convenient for people coming in. That's one of the very high demand things that people want to sign out. So we've made it easier for them and they're all, con they're all in one place. I was brought on um, to manage the new Nicholson Workforce and Innovation Center at the end of September. So now we have a space for um, business people, uh, people looking for jobs, entrepreneurs, uh, art artists and creative professionals, and this is sort of their place, whether it's to find resources that can help them or to attend events that are useful to their careers or to just um, find a place to do their creative work in the library. Okay. So we have a few new features in this room. We have study rooms, which this library didn't have before, and those could be for individuals or small group meetings. The uh, last two study rooms are also soundproofed so that they can be used as recording spaces. Um, if people wanted to do podcasts or create an advertisement or maybe do a phone or Skype interview, they can do that in the library. And they just call ahead to reserve those rooms. Um, we also have a large meeting room which can accommodate up to 40 people and we're doing our classes there. Um, and then we have a smaller meeting room which is the lab, which is our new adult makerspace. This is the first adult makerspace in St. Paul. Um, we have had teen maker spaces at our sites like Arlington and Highland Park, um, but this is just for adults 18 and over to come in and use equipment like a 3D printer or a laser engraver that they might not have had access to. Um, this is the kind of equipment that you're seeing in like high schools and, and teen areas now, so this is bringing it up to the adult crowd. And um, some of these types of equipment can even be used for job skills development. So, um, you know, learning 3D design or learning Adobe software could help you in your career, which is our main goal here. The Makerspace, in addition to the 3D printer, has a sewing machine. Um, we did get donations of fabric and thread, and we are still accepting donations of any sewing accessories people might have lying in their basements or attics. Um, we also have digitization equipment, so people can bring in blank DVDs or um, CDs and convert their LPs and VHSs into digital. So we encourage everybody to come down and uh, take a tour of the beautiful George Latimer Central Library and hopefully participate in a program or a book club or a story time.